Welcome to my video on finding percents using mental math. So to find 10% of a number, we could multiply by 1 tenth or we can divide by 10. To find 10% of a number mentally, all we need to do is move the decimal point one place to the left. So let's look at two examples. If I want to take 10% of 50 and move the decimal point one place to the left. Now notice 50 doesn't have a decimal, so I start at the end of the number and I move it one place to the left. So it'd be 5.0, which is just 5. 10% of 345, once again, start where the decimal is, so at the end of the number, move it one to the left, and it would be 34 and 5 tenths. So all you have to do to find 10% of a number is move the decimal point one place to the left. Now, let's look at using 10% as a benchmark we can use that to find 5%, 15%, and 20%. So to find 5% of a number, we're going to do the 10% trick. Now think about how 5% compares to 10%. It's half, right? So we can take 10%, so move it one place to the left, and then divide that number by 2. In other words, cut the number in half. So let's do the 10% trick, and then we're going to take half because we want 5% of 60. So 10% trick is 6. We're going to divide by 2 because we only want 5%, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now 5% of 400. So I'm going to use the 10% trick, move it one to the left. I get 40, because I don't have to write 40.0. And now I'm going to take half. So half of 40 is 20. Okay, now we're going to look at 15%. So we know how to find 10%. We know how to find 5%, so hopefully you notice that 15% is made up of 10% and 5%. So think about what we're going to do here. We're going to use the 10% trick, and then we're going to divide that number by 2, which is the 5% trick. And then we're going to add the two numbers together because we want 15%. So here's how it works. I've got to take 10% of 80, which is 8. And now I want 5%, so half of 8 is 4. And 8 plus 4 is 12. Now I want 15% of 200, so the 10% trick gives me 20. And I want 5%, so I need to take half of 20, which is 10. And 20 plus 10 is 30. Okay, turn the page. And we're going to look at the 20% trick. So to find 20% of a number, do the 10% trick. Now, think about how 10% compares to 20. Right, I could double 10 to get to 20. So all I have to do is use the 10% trick and then double the number. So here's how it works. I want 20% of 25, so the 10% trick tells me that it's 2.5. And because I want 20%, I need to double it. 
and 2.5 times 2 is 5. Or 2 and 5 tenths times 2. Now, 20% of 450, 10% trick, gives me 45. Now I have to double it to get to 20%, so I'm going to multiply by 2. And 45 times 2 is 90. Now typically we use the dot instead of the multiplication symbol. This is what you're normally used to, but in seventh grade we use more of the dot approach because we do a lot of algebra which uses variables and letters. Okay, now let's look at some examples and practice our tricks. If you are okay with what we've done so far, go ahead and tr pause the video and try these four on your own. And then turn the video back on to see how you did. Okay, if you turned it off, welcome back. And let's see how you did. 10% of 36. So move it one place to the left. So it's 3 and 6 tenths. Okay, 20% of 520, remember to take 10%, which is 52. And now we're going to double it by multiplying by 2. And 52 times 2 is 104. Okay, number 3 is 15% of 1,800. So we need to do the 10% trick, which gives me 180. Now I have to take half of that so I can find 5%. Half of 180 is 90. And 180 plus 90 is 270. Okay, 5% of 600. I first have to do the 10% trick, which gives me 60. And now I have to take half of that, which is 30. Okay, let's look at the word problems together. So we need to solve these. 20% of the total duck population at Gypsy Hill are mallards. I'm going to underline 20%. If there are 90 ducks, in all, how many are mallards? Okay, so I'm going to take 90 and do the 10% trick. So move it one to the left, so I get 9. And now I have to double that to get 20%. So 9 times 2 is 18 mallards. Okay, number two, Cameron puts 15% of his allowance in his savings account. If he made 120 last week, how much did he put into his savings account? Okay, so we need to take 120 and do our 10% trick. So that gives me 12. Now that's only 10%, I have to do 15%. So remember, I have to take half of 12. And what's half of 12? Six. And now I add those two together. 12 plus six is $18. Okay, that concludes our notes on finding percents using mental math. I hope you have a great day.